Manchester City, 5. Spark Prague, 0. It was a difficult first half. We were dominant. We got the goal early, but then Spark Prague came into the game a bit. Foden played a lot better tonight than what he's been so far this season. I think that assist that he got at the weekend, gave him a bit of confidence going into this game to get a goal. Good finish into the bottom corner. Then we had a few chances. Foden had one outside the box that went wide, and then he had one outside the box where the keeper saved it. Their keeper thought I thought was their best player by far. They didn't really have any other great performances. No like disrespect to them and their fans. And I'd say Savinho was brilliant tonight. Even though he didn't score, he got one assist. I think it was for the Haaland one where he used his back foot to back heel it into the net. And that means that he has more Champions League goals than Neymar now, who is classed as one of the best players of all time. So that's a very good achievement for Haaland at such a young age. And I thought Ake played well tonight. Stones to get on the score sheet again as a defender is a rarity. And it's two goals in two games from now. And he, he's shown that he's a threat from corners because that's three of his goals this season have been from corners against Arsenal Wolves and tonight against Sparta Prague. So if you if you need to score from a corner, rely on Johnny Stones. Thought Lewis played well. Thought Nunes played well. He courage for Nunes. He won the penalty and he took it as well. I think it was fair enough that he took it because there was not really a clear option on the pitch for us to take the penalty for us because Gundwan went off and Haaland went off and those two players are players that can take penalties, so it was fair enough that Nunes took it, really. Slotted away nicely. We looked more better defensively tonight, but we need to like do that against like the better teams because we've got to remember, yes, Spike Prague did decent in the first half and they did create the odd like half-decent chance, but th we were never really properly like tested defensively tonight, so we can't get too carried away, but it's definitely a sign of going in the right direction for our defence. Because I think with Aki in the defence, it shows that our defence looks better with him in it compared to when he's not in the defence because he's been out for a bit of a while now. And I think... Um... We've missed him since he's been out. And I think our defence has been leaking goals since he's been out. So hopefully, now that he's back in the team, we shouldn't concede goals as like often. And that's another win in the Champions League, which is good. Even though it was a win that I expected to happen, it's still a, was it, it was still a win that we needed to get because... If we didn't have got it, then we'd have been under pressure for the remainder of the Champions League games for like this sort of period of the competition. Can we win the Champions League this year? We'd definitely be there or thereabouts. I can't say we're definitely going to win it because one thing with a cup competition, the best side doesn't always win it. So that's why winning the Champions League is so hard because it's a team that like puts the ball in the back of the net and defends the best that wins it. It's not the best like footballing playing team. Like You can have all the ball that you want, but if you don't put the ball in the back of the net, then the position that you've had doesn't mean anything, basically. And like a team can have less possession than you, but still win the game. So that just shows that the team that creates the best chances and the team that has majority of the ball doesn't always win so but I do think we'll definitely be at least semi-final or finalist because if we get anything less than that I think it's a bit of a disappointment to be honest because even though we did get knocked out in the quarterfinals against Real Madrid last season we were by far the better team in that game and we should have gone through but we we paid the price for not taking our chances in that game and we lost the game on penalties, which is a strike of luck. 
But Savino, excellent tonight. Probably our man of the match. Even though Harlan will get the plaudits because he got two goals and the players that scored will get the plaudits because he didn't actually score tonight. But he was our best player tonight, I think. Fantastic. All he needs to improve is, is like his timing of his shots because he's got the end product. He knows how to cross the ball well. It's just when it comes to the, his timing of his shots, some of the time he can take like one touch too many. So once he gets that into his game, then I think he's going to be a world-class player and he, he's a great player in the making. Um, but I'm happy with the result. And it just shows that all you need in football, I mean in life, sorry, is your football team. And if you're not having a great life, like for a personal issues or there's stuff in your life that you're not happy about, then always look to your football club because without your football club and without your family, you've got no one really. So, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon.